Hey, the first thing everybody needs to realize, and I want to, I want to thank, uh, and I basically I'll put everybody's links on here, okay, where we got this from, except for the government links, because basically right now the government is not letting me go to Sechi or to uh, Sechi's H1 recent shots and stuff like that. I'm being blocked. Uh, I am not stupid enough to say it's the government doing it. It's probably Kerasov. I can say that it's a private corporation. I'm not going to say anything bad about the government. Uh, all I know is that this DSL line here will get to those sites. Or they're going to take the sites down for every other U.S. taxpaying citizen in the United States of America. Besides, along with me, because I can't be blocking this. Okay, now, going to our friend's video here, basically you'll see that the idea is factual. That this is pretty much more than likely uh, Jupiter right there. And the idea factual that this is the CMEs and solar flares which basically are one the same thing okay we do get solar flares CMEs are coronal mass ejections with the idea that the solar flares are coming off the sun for a long time have been CMEs solar flares combined and objects hitting the sun in the supergiants okay so this is over here so the idea when you see this stereo behind shot and the idea you really can't trust what satellite you're getting the shot from these days because of either they changed and changed around to be able to see this because we know that this is normally the sun blocker hole that's correct you see and then the idea they didn't need it for this shot because they're far enough away that all this here is not bright enough to mess up the camera lens okay so they turn the camera around h12 or it's just I might be wrong and that's what h12 always looks like okay but they find this object right here which basically is our uh, you're gonna. If I was able to zoom up, and basically I need to take some snapshots here, but he's gonna end up zooming into it. And the idea that you really have to realize the idea that more than likely Earth and Mars is over here. Okay. Now here he zoomed in because I got to save tape time, and he picks it up up there where I pointed it up. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to the other guy that he originally got this from. And what it is is triangulation in how our satellites are awesome and humongous, and we can see. Tons of stuff. That's right, folks. Nothing on the face of the Earth is unseen anymore. Okay? And especially even stuff, the objects are going out. Oh, they're going to say, oh, we only have that looking up in space. Look, folks, you can't get away from a crime on the face of the Earth anymore unless you're underneath hidden in a building. And then when you're hidden in a building, they got x ray technology. They can x ray a building and see what's going on inside the damn building. Okay? It's that simple. So basically, we get a zoomed in shot of the idea of them looking at and it's been looking at a lot of stuff out in space this is two different satellites one there and one there they do an electronic magnification to t stay interlocked with each other as they go through space okay see how they're just they look like a belly button or somebody that has piercings bar don't they yeah and it's not this here folks don't let that fake you out okay that is the magnification off of either earth or whatever's close next to us Okay, and it could be the moon, I'm not positive. But you have two magnetics that I've showed you before in my videos that that's how a planet in space is able to be in stereo. Okay, stereo play like a record, phonograph record player. Okay, so they found this object up there. Okay, and it's right there, he's pointing at it with his pointer. You get the solar flares over here, so we know that this has been turned around to look at this one way or the other. Either that is, I don't care if this is what they, this one usually looks at or not. But that's with it going by more than likely. You notice if they then the NASA they say, well, we are going to launch in time to go to the moon on New Year's Eve. Well, yeah, if we were to shoot a rocket, it would get there that fast. Okay, it's that simple. But I'm not going to discuss any more of those. There's the reasons not to go in a certain directions so of. I'm not going to go there. Times. Okay, so it stuff's been up there. These two satellites have been cruising around space, looking at stuff for a long time, and it was able to go through whatever they were able to project it to. Now, eventually, this is going to end up having to turn away from the sun. It can't go into the sun. Okay, so we're all safe here on Earth. It's not a spaceship coming. It's not anything. More than likely, it's either another satellite from another country, a set of satellites doing that, because nothing is that mass in space, and there's no such thing as Martians. And if there is something intelligent out there, if the government's worried, then they're going to sit there around and say, well, it's not our satellites, it's, yeah. But we have the technology, 
they've showed you recently, go to NASA and check. I'm not even going to waste time looking at the site on the tape. I'm just do the explaining the idea that these two matching satellites have been up there in space for a while. They're doing their pass by now. Okay? And whatever they do, as you see how fast it travels, okay? And it's probably doing a short uh, circumvention or circular of Earth in the moon right now. Because as you see where it's at now on this shot as it's going by, because I have to keep backing it up so you realize that. And it's good to have this shot so that you have the sun and realize, watch the video before this, they're messing with my sound, they don't want me to get videos out. NASA's pissed, or somebody in the government's pissed off at the idea that I'm bashing NASA, and we basically all as uh, voters and taxpayers have the right to bash NASA every day of the week because the idea that we pay the tax dollars for NASA. Okay? So... We can complain and complain. We can complain about our politicians. We have free speech. We can do whatever we want. Okay, so it, I'm just basically I don't have no problem with the zoom in shot, and I'll have, let you see that in a second. But to realize the idea that that is more than likely Earth right there, and the shaded side because it's not faced toward the sun and not getting light. And as you can see, the left hand side is getting light. That's the dark side of Earth right there. Okay, and then the other light's peeling around the side of it. Okay, so you can realize that basically in this shot. The sun is back that way on us, okay? So I get this in motion again, okay? And that more than likely is Jupiter right there, okay? Uh, I believe, I'm not even going to worry about the planets, the other ones right now, because we know the biggest thing that we know around us close is Jupiter. You can see the big magnification, okay? Now there's another planet here that should be whatever the next biggest planet to us. I would believe that might be Venus, but I'm not sure because Venus is the one now. Venus should be closer because it's getting its butt kicked. Okay? And this is from footage from the, like the 26th, 27th, 28th, and maybe the 29th. But the other one, the guys got that originally put this up, just got it on the 29th, and we're going to go to that. The only thing I'm going to warn you is I did it. He does a colorization and turns it into gold, which is kind of cool because you can see different things. People can play around with them. But I try to never play with ever. I don't. I'm not going to get into any photocropping so that you always know that I'm giving you what we get from NASA and so forth. Okay. And I know that this isn't cropped except for the only thing that he's putting there is just wording. Okay. And then I'll give you. I'll put the cursor up there, and we should be able to see the times. So you see, it's the 27th, and I think it started on the 26th through the 28th, and he's got the 29th on here. Okay. So when I go to the guy that originally found it, and basically what it is is our satellite technology of two matching satellites, and he'll zoom in in a second on this shot, so there's a satellite there, and then there's a satellite here, okay? So I know my pointer makes a bunch of deals. And then there's the mirror technology, folks, the mirrors, okay, that follow. And I don't know the exactness of it, but it's so that it won't run into anything, and the idea that they stay attached by electrical magnification, and you can see it when it moves through space. That's the twirlies we got there. Now, this coming into play with what I had showed you on my early videos this month, or the last week or so, of the last dozen videos or so, when I showed you those objects that are up by the sun that are humongous and can't be satellites, they are not satellites, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, They can't get that close. They melt. SOHOs are the biggest and the baddest and closest things that we can get to the sun without getting messed up. Okay. They would get melted. Any of our satellites would get melted. They can't get that close. You see how far and up and away we are of the sun here on this shot, okay? And then the supergiants and the sun are all in this. And let me go to something real fast before I go to the 29th video where he blows up this even more. So I'm going to let this play and get us to the 29th. I'm going to pause my recording. So we're back in. He's got standard YouTube on this, and I'll put his name on it because. He's actually a subscriber of me or a friend of, of mine on, and basically I put my legal disclosure, and I think everybody should, because you just never know. And I apologize to him for that and anybody that I am somewhat get along with on the Internet here, but you just never know. And I ain't got time to go searching up and see who the hell somebody is on the Internet. Yes, IP addresses, folks, and yes, you can lock down where somebody's at, okay? But I'm not after anybody, because it's actually a federal offense to go tracking somebody, ladies and gentlemen, unless you're not a peace officer or a detective or licensed to do so. Okay, so this is two satellites, and all you got to do <coughs> is go watch the, uh, the stuff on, and I don't know if NASA is going to turn around and admit that that's what this is. If it's not, then they really got something to explain, because these are humongous planets, and that's pretty much more than likely Earth right there. Let me freeze this so that you can understand. 
<coughs> that's the that's the Earth. I'm not really sure if that's the Moon. I don't think the Moon's that goddamn big. I think the Moon would be more than likely right here. This shadow and glimmers that you see right there. I'm not worried about being right or wrong on this, on that. Okay, but this is a satellite right there, and that's a satellite right there. They communicate with the electronical that's going in between here. Now I could be wrong, and it could actually have an actual physical uh, tether between both of the satellites. But I really doubt it, because otherwise, going through space at the speed you see that the film's going through the days, that is still pretty darn fast. It's kind of slow, but this is going to keep cruising around space, and I think they have it in a orbit of Earth, because more than likely this is Earth right there, folks. Okay, and because of the magnification that you see below them. And if I were pop back to the beginning of the video, or just basically go back to the beginning of the video, okay? And you will see, so I'll hit play on this so you can see the object. And I think he even zooms in even a little bit more here towards the tape, okay? So it's doing either that or basically, like I say, if I had a Martian, I'd stuff it and put it in a museum, okay? And I will if I get one, okay? There's, there's a possibility that humankind is out there somewhere else. All you got to do is look down at Earth for We'll go back to my videos and but this should exactly be it mapping earth in the moon right now with all this recent activity going on and I think that this has actually been up in space for quite a while either that or their deal if it's just recently been launched which I don't know if they've displayed the launch dates and times but they were going to say it was going to be done for New Year's so like I say this is Jupiter for damn sure, because it's so damn big, okay? We know that's the sun and the CMEs and the solar flares for damn sure. We know that that's something man-made or of intelligent life, no matter what. I believe that that is the Earth getting mapped in the moon right now by satellite there, satellite there, mirrors, the mirror technology of our satellites, and the connection between whether it's tethered or not or electronically. And here is the moon being seen tonight, ladies and gentlemen, with its... Basically, you can look up the planets that it's basically being, and that was, I believe, well, you should have seen what name it was, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to pop through these real fast. And it's clear in some skies, so you will get reflections off other planets that in things and objects in space that are between the moon, yes, folks, between the moon and Earth in the night sky, because the moon does not put off light like that, okay? It will not make a camera flare. It's not that damn bright. Okay, so this is objects just like I am going to show you in another video of objects, or I have showed you in my recent video, two videos ago, of not the one, last one, but the one before that. The reflections that are coming down to Earth of objects in space that are between us and the supergiants and the sun, and this is the moon and the stuff and the material that's between us and the moon right now. As you can see, it's getting lit up. Okay, i.e., this and given reflection there. Now. That could be part of the, uh, there is a big old mat on some of the videos, and there's basically someone can go in and find out what, and I think probably a lot of people are watching this video already know what that is. There's a big, gigantic screen that, that uh, NASA's got up in space for doing some studies for something, and that possibly could be it. And also possibly, I'm starting to wonder if they do it for some blocking of the sun rays, okay? Or for trying to, or have tried to, okay? Because, i.e., so yes, folks, they block out a lot. So you can look at here. That's how much gets blocked out. A shitload, folks. And this is partially the super giants right here. And this is Venus over here that was doing what it's doing. And they don't want to let us see Venus, okay? That's what they pulled in. And also that they're making the shots smaller on. You can when you go to look at the shots at the. So, folks, my facts and data are straight on because we have the terahydrons, tetrahydrons hitting the Earth here. And it's light propagation, but it is affecting things. And you will be able to see all these objects that are bidding. And there is the Witches of Eastwick. That is not the volcano blowing up in the air, folks. And i.e., more of our images are showing up on the webcams and in the sky, folks. These objects are actually out there. Okay, that was in 525. It was catching in the air. Okay. So if you go to these webcams, this was started, and they don't like this. This was started at 8 o'clock this morning, and that's when they started screwing with my sound, folks. Light propagation. It's being seen in Hawaii, folks. This stuff is going to scare the hell out of people. It looks like material in the air, and it's not. It's light. I'll be another video tonight.